Fire Boat by Maria Coleman. New York City, 1931. Amazing, amazing things were happening, big and small. The Empire State Building went up, up, Bay Ruth hit the six, 611th home run in Yankee Stadium. The tastiest candy treat Snickers hit the stores. The George Washington Bridge was suspended, elegant across the mighty, mighty Hudson River. Champion Pendle Calling of Larney won Best Show in at the Westminster Kennel Club. On a hot and jazzy night, the word Hacha was invented. Hacha, Hacha. And on sunny, fresh day, the John J. Harvey Fireboat was launched. There were 12 fireboats in New York City. The Harvey was the largest, fastest, shiniest fireboat of them all. It had five diesel engines, so it could go 20 miles per hour, that's pretty fast. Eight pipes that could shoot 16 gallons of water per minute equals 20 fire trucks. A control valve in the pilot's cabin, a completely round steering wheel, many brass nozzles hose in the golden gold room, a very nice can to oil all the squeaks, ropes called lines, and lots of levers, buttons, and buckets. There were a pilot and a crew ready in two minutes to fight the fires. They were a brave group. And there was a dog named Smokey who did not put the fires out, but had many nice spots. The Harvey went up and down the river, fighting fires. It fought fires at the bustling piers. The piers were the places where ships and trains were all manner, all manner of merchandise to be sold in the city, like wood and cotton and bananas and bubble gum, uh, bubble gum and everything. It fought the fires of the great ocean, linear Normand. Sometimes the Harvey just went out to shoot the water in celebration. Many years had passed, a new captain had come aboard, Bob Lenny. He and his crew fought many fires, but New York was changing. The Twin Towers were now the tallest buildings in the New York City. The piers were closing. Nineteen ninety-five, the city no longer needed so many fireboats. The Harvey was considered old and useless. It sat in the water for five years waiting to be sold for scrap. And then a very surprising thing happened. A group of friends were eating at a restaurant called Florin. They had heard about the fireboat and decided something, let's save the Harvey, let's buy her. Every, everyone needs a fireboat. We won't put out fires, we'll just have fun. And they did it. They, they, they took it to the cattle ship repair yard at Stanton Island. Even there they said, she is old. It will be hard to fix her, but the owner said, fix it. So, so they fixed it beautifully. They repaired the two propellers, making them new with shiny coated brass. Brass, uh, brass does not rust. They repaired the holes with the steel plates and covered the places where the rivers went. They scraped uh, barnacles and, and, and seaweed off the fuel and painted her with a shiny coat of red paint. And once again, the Harvey was on the water. Tim and the engineer kept things running smoothly. Jessica, the assistant engineer at the controls in the noisy engine room. Andrew Welding, Chase helping, John Fixie, Tom Cooking, Huntley at the wheel, and Bob Lenny watching over everyone and being very proud. They made friends with the, with the, on, with the only other firebirds on the river, the firefighter and the McKinnon. Everyone said, the Harvey is a nice old boat, but she can never be used to fight fire. Never. Toot, toot, toot. A boat says hello with four toots. But then, on September 11, 2011, something so huge and horrible happened that the whole, that the whole world shook. It was 8.45 in the morning, another beautiful and sunny day. Two airplanes crashed into the Twin Towers. Crashed, crashed, crashed into these two strong buildings. The sky filled with fire and smoke. The buildings exploded and fell down to the ground. Many people were hurt. Many lives were lost.
The news spread. The city had been attacked. Everyone was terrified, but people were brave. The entire people, the, the entire city sprang into action. Firefighters and the police officers and doctors and construction workers and teachers and cooks and children and parents. The mayor was strong. He said, we will all work together. We will not be broken. What were the people of Harvey doing when the, plan, when the planes hit? While Lenny was trimming hedges, Tom was drinking tea in the kitchen, Chase was walking his dog, Radar, Tim was reading the paper, Andrew was welding, John was working, Huntley was reading David Copper, Copperfield, Jessica was writing a story, the Harvey was snoozing at the pier. They all had one thought, go get, get to the Harvey, and they did. They called the fire department, John J. Harvey, ready to help. How can we help? The answer came, you, you can't help fight the fire, but you can bury people to the safety. But suddenly, an urgent message came loud and clear. Johnny J. Harvey, where are you? We need you. We need you. The water pumps were broken and buried. The fire trucks that had raced to the scene could not pump water. The firefighters attached hoses to the Harvey. The Harvey fought the fires alongside the McKinnon and the firefighters. For four days and nights, the Harvey pumped the water. The crew took turns sleeping. People brought supplies, fuel, sweaters, gloves, pizza, sandwiches, and coffee. They worked and cried. They fought the fire until it was under control. Finally, it was time the Harvey to go home. Everyone on the boat had never seen anything so terrible. And they had never felt so proud. The Harvey was a hero and everyone knew it. The Harvey won an important war. At the ceremony, the audience cheered and some even cried. Now the Twin Towers are gone, something new will be built, the heroes who have died will be remembered forever, the Harvey is back to being a very happy boat, not scrapped, not useless, not forgotten, a proud and plucky friend and all that has felt to say, hotcha and thank you. Wait a minute, there is something more to say. The friends of the Harvey have found a little tugboat to adopt, doesn't everyone need a tugboat?